If you're running this, do not install this. This is this week's Quick Take. So Apple on Monday, September 15th, 2025, released macOS Tahoe 26. You're seeing it in my software update here, along with a macOS Sequoia 15.7. If you are running an older Mac using OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.4.1 or earlier, do not install Tahoe. Now, in some of the other videos that I've created, I have mentioned that on your automatic updates, be certain that at least the first and second options, download new updates when available and install macOS updates are deactivated or disabled. The install application updates from the App Store, that is up to you. I currently have mine disabled. The problem is, is that OpenCore Legacy Patcher, at least the 2.4 series of this software that allows old Macs to run the latest operating systems, is still being worked on for Mac OS Tahoe 26. It will work, though, with the Mac OS Sequoia 15.7. But in the meantime, what you want to make certain is do not install this, even though it does show this. And... If your Mac looks like this, uh, be certain to always scroll down and see what other options are available. So currently, what you can install is untick Mac OS Tahoe 26. You saw there it was already selected that you want to, you know, if you want to upgrade to 15.7, that's what you want to select. But anyways, if you again, you're running Open Core Legacy Patcher at this point in time, please do not install Mac OS 26. In case you want to learn anything else, because I'm really a dabbler, but Mr. Macintosh, he does this for a living, and he has a great series of videos in regards to Open Core Legacy Patcher, especially with the Mac OS Tahoe and its causing problems. So check out his channel. In the meantime, thank you for watching this week's Quick Takes. <laughs>